finally understand what do we mean by labeling. Well, labeling is a sub part of packaging. It is any written, electronic or graphical communication on the package or on a separate but associated level and label. It is it forms a part of the package itself or can be attached to the package and still be considered as label. There are different kinds of labeling which can be used. First being descriptive, which gives us the description of the weight, the volume, the composition of the ingredients of the product, information about the manufacturer, production and packaging dates, date of expiry, etc. Second being informative, that is giving the product information as well as information about the usage of the product and how to handle it. Third, grade indicative, that is showing the quality certification like ISI mark, AG mark, etc. It is very important to include all the three above discussed parameters in a particular label cause no matter how attractive your package looks, it would be only attractive enough to pull the customer or draw the customer towards it in the first place. Post that, the decision whether the consumer picks up your product or not totally depends upon the labeling information it carries. That is with regards to does it satisfy the content in terms of what the consumer is looking for? With regards to the date of manufacture or does the date of expiry be long enough and serve the use for the, perp for the buyer? Also, if it is decent and easy to handle and user friendly does it have adequate and enough information with regard to the user manual and finally is it uniform and has certain standard qualities that is is it isi mark or ag mark or any other criteria saying that let's understand what are the key contents of a label well label includes typically the brand name of the product or the company as already discussed the different brand names in the first topic Second, it talks about the address of the producer that is either of the head office or the factory. Generally, the office address is the one which is carried on the product. Third, it talks about the gross and the net quantity of the content. Net quantity being the quantity of the product which you will actually use whereas gross includes the quantity or the weight of the packaging involved therein. The next important content of a label is the ingredients in the product that is with regards to what all has actually gone into the making of the product in terms of the water content the moisture content the vitamins the calcium level the various protein levels the fat the extra cholesterol saturated any kind of extra preservatives added etc next very important is the direction for the usage of that particular product that is how we need to use it when do we need to use it and who are the right people and the customers for the use of that particular product next being the precautionary measures many a times we see on our products we have things like please store in a cool place keep out of the reach of children do not inhale only for external use all of these constitute the precautionary measures the next being with regards to the nature of the product which could mean anything as simple as whether it is a vegetarian product or any kind of non-vegetarian material has gone this is really indicated with the help of the green symbol which signifies vegetarian and red signal which signifies the non-vegetarian item. Next being the date of packaging and expiry which of course is very useful and very important criteria in picking up because if your product which you're picking up does not have enough shelf life it is not of use to the customer. And finally the MRP that is the maximum retail price for that particular product.